Boots using a tire. My farm is technically your farm. It's literally as big as my hand. Come on, turtles, let's go to your new big home. Hello, little yellow belly friend. Hey, ready? Woo! Here we go. Oh yeah. We have new koi fish. What's how many is there? Oh my gosh. Today's video is sponsored by All Form. Helix and Birch's sister brand of sofas and chairs. It's American made and they're super easy to assemble. Scratch and stain resistant. If you have animals, that's extra important. Super comfortable as well and you can customize these sofas to pretty much fit anywhere. Now more than ever, it's super important to make the most of your time at home. I personally spend a lot of my time editing. So much of my time editing. I need to hire an editor. And I do a lot of that editing right here. No matter how you spend your time, sofas are a big part of a home. And that is why today I'm super excited to announce that I'm partnering with Allform. You can personalize your sofa to your space and your style. With seat numbers, corners, chases, and even ottomans. Allform makes it super easy to find the perfect furniture for your space, your way. If you like to put your feet up, you get a sectional or extra chases. If your room is weirdly shaped, they've got something to fit perfectly. Now based on my space, I got the three seat sofa with chase, light gray of course. I love this color gray and then I got the natural wood leg. Oh, hi Pokey. What's going on kitty cat? And then I got the natural wooden legs. Now I wish I had pictures, but I had this crappy black sofa prior to this. The cat hair got stuck to it constantly. It didn't look good. This sofa right here is the complete opposite. It looks good. No animal hair gets stuck to it and it fits my spot just perfectly. Another big thing I do not want to leave out is how easy the setup was. It was incredible. As a matter of fact, my girlfriend actually built it. Oh, that is a nice color. I'm super stoked! I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's how easy it was. Tool free assembly, less than 15 minutes, brand new sofa. Because all form ships direct to consumer, they're able to use premium materials at an affordable price for you. Best part about all this is all form will ship this sofa directly to your doorstep for free. I'm not kidding, it's for free. And if it makes you nervous that you're buying something you haven't tried before, all form has a hundred day trial. So you have three months to make sure you love it. And if you don't, they come pick it up and they give you a full refund. I love my all form sofa and I think you will too. If you're interested in a new seating, go check out the links down below or go to allform.com slash for 20% off. That is 20% off the sofa of your choice. Not gonna lie, I got a little scared there. That's actually a new one, I, I got another one. I love these things, man. I went to the dealership the other day and I couldn't leave without one. Whoops. Anyway, what is going on, Krells? Welcome back to another video. We got some fun stuff to do today. These enclosures, man, are just so amazing. I could not be happier with the outcome, what this farm is looking like. PC Farm 2.0 is truly gonna be an incredible project. Things are constantly gonna be getting done. And for every single one of you that have been sticking along since the journey of even the first farm, y'all know we're gonna be nothing but the best here. I tried to make a pig litter here, I literally, you know, set this up to see if they would start going to the bathroom in this spot, and it looks like it's working but they were sleeping in it as well, and this seems to be some poop outside of it still. You can see a little bit of, you know, out there, but there is some in there as well. Soon to have ducks in here. I already bought the fountain for this pond. We just gotta fill it up, but I'm obviously waiting on that right there. And if you watched last video, you know about all that, so we won't have to repeat that. I can't wait to get Lady May and Mango over here into their new enclosure that'll be built right here. That'll obviously be temporary and will then eventually be expanded once the building is there and there'll be much more room for them. We also have all the goats here. Y'all know that, right everyone? And this enclosure looks absolutely amazing. Hi, Boots. Hi, buddy, what's going on? I just like to update you guys and let you know what's going on at the farm constantly, as much as I can. That way you're kind of living this life with me, you know what I'm saying? My farm is technically your farm. Boots using a tire. These upcoming weeks I have some really cool plans for epic turtle ponds, and you'll see exactly what those are. You just gotta subscribe and watch the videos. I have some really cool things going on. I'm gonna get a lot of cool baby turtles soon. Speaking of baby turtles, I have come to the fish room today to transferring these big yellow belly turtles, and I believe there's a couple painted in there as well. Look at how big they've gotten. They're huge. That's a painted right there. You can tell because his belly is all colored. And then this is a little yellow belly. But I mean, they're getting so big. It's literally as big as my hand. And I've got a baller pond at my parents' house, if you guys know that one. We've released a couple yellow bellies from the past there, as well as some albino red ear sliders we have over there. So today, 
I have to get all these turtles. This is like six or, I don't even, that have grown a little too big for this pond right here. We obviously want these turtles to have an immense amount of space and just roam free, and my parents' backyard is the most natural. So as simple as this, say goodbye to your home that you grew up in. It's kind of sad when you say it like that, but they're going to a way, way better home. There's another big yellow belly right here. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, they're huge. It's crazy how big they've gotten. This is also gonna free up a lot of room in this pond. Uh, these are like, uh, kind of like small, you know, but not too small. But you know, like this is a pretty big turtle for this small of a pond. So we're gonna move anything that's got about that big over to my parents' house. It's a lot more room. I see you hiding back there from me. Come here, painted. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. I really don't think camera does justice, but that's it next to my face. It just bites me in the eye. Yeah. Compared to the other ones, that's the biggest one yet. There's another big one in here. Come here, buddy. Big yellow belly. There you go, buddy. Uh, that is my African side neck. He won't get much, much bigger, so we're gonna leave him in here. That is a Indian spotted. You're small still. These big ones also hog the food. Like when I feed in this pond, they just swarm the food. This is gonna allow the other turtles that are smaller to now eat more and grow faster. These guys are all coming to my parents' house. My mom's gonna be stoked. She has more turtles now. Come on, turtles, let's go to your new big home. It's a lot bigger than that. If you've never seen where I'm about to take these turtles, you're gonna be mind blown. I love this pond so much, although I don't think the waterfall is working right now. We're working on that, but everything else, super natural. Look who's just chilling on the edge right here. Oh, there's another one right there. Hi. You know what it is? My mom feeds them, so now they're just coming right up to us. Pond is dirty. What's new? It's so great to have pond. No, it is annoying though. They, sometimes they're clear, crystal clear, and other times they're dirty. This pond is most likely dirty because we haven't had that waterfall working. I gotta get a pond company to come out and see if they can fix that because I, myself, have tried everything to fix it. Um, but yeah, that'll get done soon and then this water will clear, clear back up. All right, we have five new friends. Bailey, you're getting so big. Hi, buddy. I don't know if you remember, but last time we were here, we actually were picking up the albino radio sliders eggs. Then we brought them to Kenan's house and we're still waiting on those to hatch. It's gonna be a couple more weeks, but I guess we'll release them like right up here. Look at them all, mom. They're all coming up to me to wait for me to feed. We got the yellow bellies, the koi fish. Hello, little yellow belly friend. Hey, you ready? Woohoo! See you later, bud. That is a much bigger pond slash enclosure. This is huge compared to what they were in. Double painted release here. There we go. Live a happy life and grow 17 times the size. There's our big female albino right there. She's the one that laid. Come on, last two. Both the yellow bellies. We'll put them on this rock that they, you're probably gonna bask on one day. Your buddy already went in, go. You're the biggest yellow belly I have. Think about all these rocks they have to bask on. I mean, they could bask anywhere they want, but these rocks right on the water's edge is just prime location for them. They love it. They just had two little lamps in that pond. Now, they got the natural sun, a big body of water. When this is flowing, they have somewhere where they can kind of chill in, you know, shallower water, flowing nice water. And they could also roam the land if they want. They could pick through the landscape, eat weeds, eat plants, whatever. Look at that big old girl. Big old girl. They're way cooler in person. And our koi fish look great. Thanks to Next Day Koi. Speaking about koi fish, I actually got koi fish delivered for this pond right here a couple days ago. Initially, I got them for a friend of mine to then swap for her koi fish to put in here. But this pond has enough fish already, especially since these koi fish I already have are going to get bigger. And we're dealing with this waterfall issue. There's no point to overload this pond with any fish. So, ended up just not taking the koi fish from my friend's house, and now she's got a bunch of them. Shout out to Next Day Koi for all the new koi fish. I'll roll those shots right now. I got koi fish. We're gonna add koi fish into my friend's pond here. He wanted some more butterflies, and I said, you know, I know just the guy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Gives you a little acclimation instructions right here. If anyone wants to see that, uh, come on, focus camera. There you go, screenshot it. We have new koi fish. Let's see how many, how many did he send? How many is this? Oh my gosh. He sent way more than I thought he would. Casey, thank you, man. How many are in here? I don't even know. We're gonna acclimate them. After we acclimate, we'll find out. Well, I guess I can count right now. One, two, three, four, five. Five butterfly koi. Now, these ones in the pond right here, they're actually gonna hide from me now that I'm filming, of course. She actually wanted to gift those to me in return for these right here. But she's not home right now, so I just wanna drop these off and then let her make the decision. She might wanna keep all of them. If not, these right here will come to my mom's backyard ponds, the OG backyard ponds, and we'll put them in there. Those are beautiful butterflies, so. All right, I'm by myself filming this, so. Let's see what, 
see what kind of koi fish. Ah, ah. Look at how pretty they are. The all white is just beautiful. The koi fish from next day koi are just on a whole different level of pretty. We're just gonna literally release all of them at once right now. You ready? Woohoo! Look at them. I feel like that made the pond so much more lively just adding those. I don't know. She said she bought the ones that are in here now, these big ones, at this size. So as you can see, they grow a lot. I mean, look at that all white one just chilling down there. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh! The other two are over here. Obviously, the ones we just put in are the smaller ones. This is a cool pond, though, huh? This would be awesome to have like a big red tail in. Got some really cool filtration here using a lot of these plants to actually filter the water. New koi fish for my friend. I don't know whether I'll be back to get the bigger ones. If so, it'll be the next clip. If not, then yeah. Gifting my friends beautiful butterfly koi fish. What? Is that a fish in the saltwater tank, Tommy? What is that in the saltwater tank, dude? I think it's a a, a freshwater fish. He said freshwater fish. We transferred turtles and we got koi fish for my friends that were supposed to be mine, but you know, my pond waterfall doesn't want to work. I got the pond guys going over there today to fix that. Hopefully that gets fixed. You saw the fish in the saltwater tank. That video is next. Here's a little sneak peek. I'm not gonna give you much, but it's something. Yeah, there's like 20 right here. Oh, uh, there's 30 in here. And there's <laughs> probably by the end of the day, probably close to 50 bucks. Melon Aris Rest is a nice male. Dude, the coloration. Oh! oh! I got three. We got three. We got a good chunk of stuff, everyone. Hopefully you guys are excited for that video. Make sure to subscribe down below. Smash the like button at 25,000 likes. I'll drop it immediately. So just smash the like button. Bam, it's gonna be posted. Thank you so much, All Form, for sponsoring today's video. Can't beat this stuff, so go check those links out in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!